Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Man has some respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, it's always a special welcome to you. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of the journey and you're still here, Manazam respect. Now today we are going to be, I am going to be sharing with you a sorrel baked chicken. Sorrel baked chicken, sorrel flavor, baked chicken, whatever. But the base of this baked chicken sauce is going to be some homemade sorrel drink. Okay? So, don't ask me, Debbie, how you make the sorrel drink. It is there on the channel in depth. This sorrel drink that we are going to be using recipe is the traditional one with the rum and the red label in it. If it is that you do not want that one family, use what you want. There are a few people and the number is growing. You are all putting on the wrong label on me. I'm telling you, there are a few of you. You are, I don't know if you know yourselves, but you are putting on the wrong label on me. Okay? But I am watching it and then I will do a live streaming on it if it is growing. You are labeling me with the wrong label. Now, family, we are going to sweeten this sorrel drink it's, it has been done you know homemade so we are going to um, get it all sweet so okay remember i told you we were and this is not one of the reddest ones you know, but this is what we could get right now at this time we are going to be using the traditional form of jamaican sorry drink that is the rest that is so the first first thing i'm doing i am showing you how to get the sorrel beer sauce prepared because man, I want about it, and it is only um, for me, it is only necessary or unnecessary for me to show you that sauce. Okay, family, try to remember that is not every sauce that I do, I can show you. You can make your own sauce. Okay, we have our chicken here, the chicken over there, so wash and it are drain clean and pretty, bone in, bone out, any part of the chicken. People are asking, Miss Debbie, what kind, what parts of the chicken can I use? Any part of the chicken. If it is that I do a dish and it's, it's asked for boneless, I'll say boneless. Okay? No. We are going to be putting in some sugar. And I'm going to be putting, that is, I'll tell you, I think I have four and a half pounds of chicken here. About 2.2 kilograms. So... This is this probably will be good enough. <clears throat> will be good enough. So I'll leave for you in the description all that I use. If it is that you're using four and a half pound of chicken like me, if you are using ten pound of chicken, you gotta double up on this. Okay, simple thing, family. All right. I'll put some rum. Don't worry about the. Um, can't the we call it the volume of the alcohol? It is strong in there now, but remember, I always say to you the heat from the oven will diminish it down to nothing. By the time we bake out my oven, in and you know, I put in some of this thing, eh? uh, you know, we have to start out the sorrel, we have to get the sorrel. So, you know, this sorrel was prepared with all you know, that cinnamon leaf, the orange peel, the, 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 the pimentos berries, and all of that. Now, to this. Normally, I would use a little vinegar in my baked chicken sauce. I don't want to put vinegar with the sorrel, but the orange juice, which is a little citrus, it is okay. So I am going to be juicing. I'm going to be using fresh orange juice. You can use store-bought family. I am looking for the very best flavor, and I know that the freshly squeezed orange juice with the sorrel with the fresh homemade sorrel will give me a better flavor okay so if it is that you want to use store-bought go ahead and use your store-bought 
now this is what we have you are going to need some of this and if you don't need this or you do not want to use this use what you have I'll be using a generous amount of ketchup to fit in this okay so here we go and you're gonna dissolve and continue dissolving we're gonna dissolve all of this and come back to you okay now so we had a generous amount of ketchup in this family what I want I'll tell you how much to how much sorry so look at it But still, we are going to leave it to come to a little boy to get what you'll see. Now, we want to just look at the color of the ketchup and the sorry. That is all we add there. So, we are going to be putting in some paprika. Paprika nando, nothing to the sour flavor because this is a paprika nano flavor. I just call it okay. So, we are putting a few dashes and we are going to i am going to be putting in a little basil just a little basil come and know so it will enhance the flavor of the sorrel remember that is okay because that's dried and that's a good amount so you want i i, I switch to a whisk family because the whisk will give me a better um blend will give me get it blend better so now, this is still not the consistency that we wanted. So we are going to taste now. Yes. Yes, we can probably take a little salt. Just a little bit, not a lot. So we are going now with a little bit of salt. Remember I told you, salt doesn't give flavor, it blends flavors together, okay? We are going to go now and get our container, we are going to put it on the stove and leave it to come to a slow boil. So we are scraping into our container and we are going to leave it to come to a boil. You don't want it to get burned because with the sugar and the red label in there, it will get burned. We can bring it up to a little more. So we are going to leave it there. This is how it is now. And you will need some additional sweetened sorrel in case it's, it gets too thick and you want to thin it out a little more. Okay? We'll soon come. When it starts boiling, we'll return. Now, family, look at this. It starts, it's, it start, it starts started to come to a boil. Remember I told you to cook it at a slow. You know, for probably about a 10 minutes, no more. But I want you to look at the color. So, constantly, you scrape around, scrape around whatever you want to cook it in a deep saucepan. We are going to cook it until we get that desired thick texture. The ketchup has a lot of pectin. And if you don't want to use ketchup, you could use um, canned tomatoes too, stewed you know not with the seeds though because some have seeds some doesn't have that would be good too so look at it it is boiling now look at it right so i told you this eat and also the eat from the oven we just diminish the alcohol so we'll make it come together and then we are going to let it boil for a certain time and when we return we are going to show you because this after it is um boil and come together we are what we are doing now we are incorporating the solid flavor with the ketchup and the, 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 the alcohol to get that blend okay so see it's, it's boiling now turn it down it's still too high so no cornstarch no nothing because the ketchup have been all of that already so we are going to let it boil and let the flavors come together and then we are going to come back to show you we have to leave it to properly cool to get the thickness of it whilst that is happening we are going to go now and prepare my blend of seasoning for my chicken i'll come back to show you how i'll be seasoning my chicken okay okay now family so we have just turned our flame off and we're leaving it to cool this is as if you're making a homemade barbecue sauce okay but this is just as homemade sorry beer sauce eh? so 
So we are going to leave it for cool. So as soon as it cools down, it will, and it has to be cooled properly for you to get at the right consistency. And this is the color. Now put no brown in, not put no soy sauce, not put nothing, because this is the color you want it to have. Okay? We're going to leave it there to come, to cool right down. With all of those, the sugar and the ketchup and all of that, it must be properly cooled. And while it's cooling, you just stir it to keep it like that. Now, over here, I'm going to be seasoning my chicken. And this is how I'll be seasoning my chicken. Okay, we did not use our extra sorrel. Maybe when it's properly cooled, we might want a little. We never know. Okay. So, I'm going to be cooking my salt. And as I told you, the amount of chicken I have, and make sure you wash your chicken and your chicken properly drain. So I'm going to be putting about this, yes, four and a half pounds of chicken and I put a tablespoon of salt, that should be good, right? I'm going to be using some fresh thyme, mm -hmm. so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull off all of my thyme leaf them, because I don't really want like the, the, um, the stalks and all of that. Pull off all of my thyme leaf, I'm going to cut up my skelly and grate on my garlic. I'm going to be using, this is not scotch bonnet, this is a little common pepper. This is not scotch, Jamaican scotch bonnet, it is common pepper, Jamaican common pepper. A little chops of ginger, because we have ginger in the soil already. So, I'm going to finish all of these and come back and show you how I'm going to my chicken. See? All my herbs are on. You saw me put on my salt. I'm going to be putting on a little paprika. Probably about half of a teaspoon of paprika and this is what I'm gonna use to season my chicken you can season your chicken the way you want a family but try to remember that if you go too much with certain of those um, artificial seasons you're gonna lose the taste of the, that sorry um, thing that we're making over there that's big that sauce okay so here I go I'm gonna be just rubbing up my chicken, my chicken will be rubbed up, left to marinate for about a hour or two. Could be overnight, which would be better, right? Whilst my sauce is cooling down, this definitely will be the end of part one. Look at the color of the chicken. For go with the color of what we have over there. We want to end up with this pretty baked chicken with that sorry taste. That's what we are working for, okay? So this is what I have. And this is where I leave you. I'll see you in part two. Okay?